please sit down. This morning's Mass is being celebrated for the happy repose of the soul of Dorothy Folader. Do not leave me to the will of my foes, O Lord, for false witnesses rise up against me, and they breathe out violence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess. Almighty oh God, I teach you my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask for the sin of my conversion, all the ancient saints, and even my brothers and sisters, to pray for me the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant us so to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion that we may merit to receive your pardon for our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Look at the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O islands. Listen, O distant people. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword and sealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow, and his quiver he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me, Israel, to whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing, uselessly, spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord, my recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as a servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him, and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob, and to restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing of your salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. Oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing of your salvation. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, from my youth. And I knew I depend from birth. From my mother's womb, you are my strength. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day, your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth. Until the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing your salvation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Reclining at table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified, Amen, amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another at a loss of whom he meant. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out who he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, 
It is the one whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it. So he dipped the morsel and took it and handed it to Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot. After Judas took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, What you are going to do, do quickly. Now none of those reclining at table realized why he said this to him. Some thought that since Judas kept the money bag, Jesus had told him, Buy what we need now for the feast, or give to something for the poor. So Judas took the morsel and left at once, and it was night. When he had left, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me. And as I told the Jews, where I go, you cannot come. So now I say to you. Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, where I am going, you cannot follow me now, though you will follow later. Peter said to him, Master, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you, the cock will not crow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> so as we continue through Holy Week, we are continuing to march towards our sacred freedom, which is the Lord's passion and suffering, death, and resurrection. Jesus, to think about this, Jesus was fully aware of the suffering that was lying ahead of him. He knew what was going to happen, and yet he went and carried it on. And in the Gospel today, Jesus is reclining at dinner with his disciples. And when you think about his disciples, they are the chosen few. They were the ones who were called by Jesus, by name. They walked hundreds of miles with him. They shared how many meals along the road. They pitched tents beside of Jesus all of this time. And as Isaiah prophesies that it was too little for God's servant to be just a servant. And so it was too little for them just to be disciples. You think about it. They were his friends, his closest friends. Jesus loved them. And they would be the ones, as Isaiah goes on to foretell, tell, that they would be the ones to continue to bring his light into the world. And it is because of this, Jesus is deeply troubled. The betrayal and the denial that he knew was coming, that he referred to in today's gospel, will come not as the betrayal of an enemy. It will not come because of the denial of some stranger. These are Jesus' friends, his closest friends that will do this to him. And that's where the mystery really lies in this. It is precisely because of that betrayal that Jesus can offer his life for the salvation of those he loved. Jesus doesn't only offer his life for loyal servants. Rather, he lays down his life for all, including his friends who will betray him. In ways known, deep down in our hearts, to some way, to some degree, at some times, we know that we are all guilty of doing the same thing. We are all guilty of betraying Christ in so many ways. But Jesus has the same message to us that was foretold to the prophet Isaiah. It is too little for you all to be my servant. I will make all of you a light to the nations. Let's give thanks for the great gift we are prepared to receive today, the gift to receive the body and blood 
of our Lord Jesus Christ, who loves all of us. And then to, in return, to go forth and to bring that light into the world. Let us bring God our needs, trusting that he will hear and answer all of our prayers. For all members of the church, may we be given God's spirit of joyous hope as we prepare to celebrate the Paschal Mysteries. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For public authorities, may God grant them wisdom in their governing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those who have suffered betrayal or abandonment by friends or family, may God restore peace to their hearts and bring about reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all gathered here, may Christ, the suffering servant, guide each one of us to for being a light to others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all who have died. We remember we remember the intention of today's Mass, Dorothy Folater. In a very special way, we also uh, ask for the repose of the soul of Jane Zingelman's father who just passed away last night. May they rest in the loving arms of God in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And for our own personal intentions, which we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we thank you for your steadfast mercy and ask that you hear and respond to our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands, for the grace and glory of His name, for our good and the cause of the Church. Look favorably, O Lord, we pray, on these offerings of your family. And to those who make you, you make partners of these sacred gifts, grant a share in their fullness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him, the host of angels adore your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord of our hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray, and sending down your spirit upon us like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, 
He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by our cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alfred, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Elizabeth of Hungary and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ. Yeah. Peace. Lamb of God, takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my birth. The promise is the word of my soul shall be healed. Those who are unable to be with us today are unable to receive the Eucharist at this time. Will now pray a prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament, and I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. God did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all.
semaine. Le bas des presses. 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 Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by the same sacrament with which we have been fed in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a reminder that tomorrow there is no adoration or mass here in the chapel, but I've got two alternatives for you. At 9 o'clock instead of mass, the children will be putting on the living stations of the cross in the church. Or if you would like to go to the cathedral at 10.30, we'll have the beautiful chrism mass there, and all are welcome to come to the chrism mass, where the bishop uh, consecrates all of the oils that will be used for the year. So I encourage you to, if you can't be here for the mass, to take advantage of one of the other opportunities as well. The Lord be with you. Bow down, Bow down for the blessing. <clears throat> may your mercy, O God, cleanse the people that are subject to you, for all seductions of former ways, and make them capable of new holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us now. We are our against the wickedness and the devil. May God be with you in your own prayer, and to the Prince of Heavenly Ghosts, by the power of God, have a good day, everyone.